Uh, Spain versus Poland is the final game that we're going to talk about. And I think the focus has really got to be on, on Spain here after that game against Sweden. Hugh, uh, you know, total dominance in terms of possession. I mean, Sweden couldn't get out of their own third for the first, well, the entirety of the game, uh, essentially. Morata misses one hell of a chance halfway through the first half. I think the big question I have about Spain is, you know, look, I expect Spain to get through this group, but can Spain win this tournament playing Morata up top? I think they've got to drop him for this game. I think they just need to experiment, see if they have another striker who's maybe in a little bit more confident mood. I mean, that chance was as, as, pretty, as easy a chance as you're going to get in this competition, I'll be honest. You've got to smash it in the near post. You can't give the keeper any chance, let alone putting it wide at the far post. I just think it went, he went for the wrong option. But for me, it wasn't even a miss of the game. Marcus Berg had a tap in, you know, for, for Sweden. Oh, really yeah, scored wow. himself. Very, very, very poor technique. But look, to answer your question, I don't think there's a chance Spain will win this competition with anyone. It doesn't matter which, which player they put up front from their squad. I don't think they've got a chance. I feel like anyone in my age bracket, your early 30s, you spent at least half of your international football life watching Spain pass it around the edge of the 18-yard box looking for an opportunity to score. Yeah, they've had some brilliant teams who have been able to do that. But this team isn't at that level. There's so many emerging players, so many players who haven't necessarily performed on this stage before, just feeling their way into international football. They've had a really fractured build-up to the competition as well, of course, and I think that has, has played on them. Um, so I, I really don't see... I, look, I think they can win this game because I think the dominance in terms of the possession means they will create chances, but whether they stick with Alvaro Morata or not, I don't think it's going to affect the result because I think, to be honest, Gerard Moreno, with the season that he had with Villarreal, deserves an opportunity, and I think he's, he's as potent right now a goal scorer, if I'm perfectly honest. I don't think there's massive disparities in terms of their physical attributes or output either. So for me, it's, you know, it's much of a muchness. And Mark, I don't know what you think about Spain. Do they have enough to go and win it? No, I agree with what you're saying. I'm a little bit older than you, Hugh, so I remember Spain before they were good, before 2008. And Spain would always turn up at tournaments with a big reputation, great passing team, but with no attacking quality in terms of the final third. Toothless. And they would be toothless as long as Morata plays. And I, you know, Morata, for me, he's never going to be the guy that you can hang your hat on as a centre-forward, no matter who he plays for a club or country. You're not going to win anything with Morata as your first-choice striker. You know, that, that chance he missed. I don't think he has that, 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 that strength of mind that he needs as a striker, that ruthlessness. But you look at the Polish team with Lewandowski, the, the night and day. You know, Lewandowski is a ruthless centre forward, score goals, be physical. He's everything that Morata isn't. And I think until Spain find a solution to that, I don't think it'll come in this tournament. I think they're struggling. So for me, Spain are a team definitely in transition. That There's nothing there that they look a bit soft to me in the sense of being able to hurt teams. And I think that the first team of any kind of strength in meeting the tournament will knock them out. Yeah, I, I agree, Mark. I, I, I agree with you. Um, I th the thing, looking at it, I was looking at the, sort of the XG of both those players because I thought, should they have scored, you know, should they have scored more goals? But yeah, Morata with 0.48 uh, XG and he had three shots. None of those were on target. So that, basically you're saying that this guy needs at least four chances to, to get himself a goal. Moreno, he had 0.62 and he came on. So for both of them, it's a bit of a problem. But I do lean towards Moreno as well, because I think, yes, Morata maybe has a bit more um, in terms of his hold-up play, maybe there's other elements to his game. But I don't think that's what Spain need. You know, Spain will be looking across at the, that Poland side and thinking, God, if we could just pick up Lewandowski and pop him in a, in a Spain shirt, then we'd, we'd, we'd be pretty frightening. The other thing that I, I'd be concerned about, is, uh, and I agree with you, Mark, is that the kind of the, the possession-based style of Spain is, is great and it's fine. But for, for Sweden, you could have that kind of that low block. And again, I think this is going to be a big theme of the tournament, being able to break teams down and passing and passing and passing and passing. It felt a little bit, Hugh, like, like watching Liverpool earlier this season where, yeah, OK, you know they're good. You know they've got good players. But if the ball's in front of you, then the opposition, you know, then you, you're not going to concede a goal, are you? Listen, look at Germany last night. There were great players in the side with quality. They've clearly got a plan on the training field that says, let's keep the ball. Let's work it and work it and work it until we create an opportunity. But ultimately, it's that one final ball or the ball before the assist, the risky pass, which they just didn't seem to have an outlook for. You know, and, and as much as you can keep the ball, I think the first half they had more passes than any team in the Euros history. I think it was almost 500 passes in the first half of that game. Spain, it's not a tournament that, that you're going to win on possession alone. You, you need goals. And ultimately, that is the most important statistic of all. 
Alvaro Morata isn't going to be the man that's going to get you, you know, five, six goals in this tournament. I don't believe it. Mm. And so you need to create a pattern of play that gives him a really great opportunity to score. And I, I didn't see it. I, I, to be honest, I'd like to see Thiago Alcantara start. I'd like to see him, a player that might try something a little bit different, a little bit risky, start the game. Um, because I think that, that what they might need is individuals. You know, if you've got that much of the ball, brilliant. What you might need is your most creative individuals or your best wingers, someone that can do a little bit, something a little bit different to try and, and make Spain an outfit that I think people would be worried about. Because right now, a lot of teams are well drilled and they'll be comfortable to give Spain the ball, knowing it's going to take something special to hurt them. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're right, in that midfield, you know, like Alcantara, Busquets to come back. Pedri, I know, I think a lot of people were looking for Pedri to offer up that that element, but in terms of chances, it was it was Koke with the with a couple of runs into the box and a couple of chances. And this is a player who's never scored for Spain. So as much as we're kind of putting it on Morata, we're kind of putting it on Morata because there aren't options elsewhere in terms of goals. And, and yeah, I agree with you. I think that's that's going to be a problem for for Spain. Like, can they kind of? Can they sort of do that sort of water torture and get that first goal and then teams come out and then maybe there's a bit more uh, opportunity to score goals. But going deep into the tournament, I think that's going to be their undoing down the line. Uh, in this game specifically then, Mark, let's get your predictions for Spain versus Poland. What do you think is going to happen? It's tough on a call, isn't it? I mean, Poland always turn up at tournaments and fail to deliver. They're, they're, they're one of those teams that never actually live up to the hype. So I do think that Spain should win this, but... Poland have the striker. Poland have the guy that will score the goals in Lewandowski, and I think that could give them the edge. But I'll, I'll say that Spain will nick it because they've got more experience. They're a tournament team, but you know, I don't see that with any conviction, really. Yeah, I, I was disappointed with Poland against Slovakia. I mean, I was impressed by Slovakia as well. But I, I think Spain. I think you're right. I think they'll nick it, and I think they better nick it because otherwise, you're starting to get a bit concerned for for them going into that last game against Slovakia. I think. I think it might be a, a two-one. I think Lewandowski will get himself a, a goal. I think there's going to be a much uh, harder test. Of course, Sweden really did just, um, you know, park the bus against them. But I think Spain will, will nick the win. But in terms of winning the tournament, I can't see it happening. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN Plus.